Aloha everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am here in beautiful Waikiki, Honolulu, Oahu. So I'm about to explore a lot of food findings, good and bad. So I hope that you guys can give me ideas maybe for future travel and we'll see what I can come up with and let me know uh, what you think the good and the bad so anyway if you like it please subscribe and ring the bell all right i will see you mahalo oh go ahead go ahead whenever i go to pakali bakery i always get their famous famous snow puffy cream puff here this is one of their traditional and look at this flakiness that they have layer upon layer and if you just squeeze them all out look at this it's all creamy and so much cream that they have and it's very chewy so you can tell how much cream they put in one puff super generous look at this mmm it's very sweet but not too sweet in the same that all the chocolate here is a dark chocolate and it's very balancing of the flakiness of the puff mmm they have the right consistency of the puffiness and the cream itself. So let me take another bite. So, uh, mm. I also have another one that I would like to share with you that I always get when I go to that bakery. This one here is the famous, famous peanut butter turnover. And look at this, all the chunkiness of the peanut all around the flakiness of the croissant. It is so good. Look at this. If you break it all out, mm, all the peanut just coming down like crazy. Well, let me take a bite of this, of all the peanut butter in this. Mmm. So good. It's very filling. Not too sweet. And also, if you see the butter in this, there, you can see every peanut in every bite. So I would definitely recommend to get this when you go to the bakery. Mm. So I just made a little walk to Duke's Lane Market to get my favorite, favorite mochi malasadas. Well, look at this. I got one ube and one mango. So I guess I always like it first thing in the morning when it's still fresh and warm. So let's take a look. I love this one, the ube first. Look at that. Mmm. Still nice and fresh and not so much powdery sugar that they put. Let me put it here. Mm. Mm. Very good. The consistency of the mochi is really excellent because <clears throat> It's not really chewy, but yet it's tender and soft and fluffy. The deep fried is not too oily like some places that you find in Malasadas. So they did a good job on this. 
So the next one here I got is the, uh, the mango. So let's see. Mm. Oof, 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 oof. Mm. Mm. So tangy and so mango-y too. Mm. So good. I can eat easy half dozen of this. Well, you know what? There's so many other food that I would eat, but I would totally recommend to get this while in Waikiki. Mm. So this is what I got from Romy's uh, shrimp truck. Look at this amazingness. It's super yummy. It's all the big, big shrimp with over rice and garlic on top. It's a butter garlic uh, sauce. It's amazing. And then they have a soy sauce that you can pour under. It is just amazing. Okay, so as we open it, it is just purely amazing. And then if you have this soy sauce that you have, you know, just pour it over. Oh, I cannot wait, wait, wait to eat this. Look at this garlic heaven. Well, you know, after this, I'm sure you're not gonna get close to anyone after so much garlic. Mm, 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 mm. Yum. Mm. So good. Let me see. Look at this. The shrimp is so good. It is so big. And yet, it's just that amazing. I'm gonna open it one for you and show it to you, okay? So, look at that. Mm. It is so big. Yep, this is the whole shrimp. And it is amazing. Mm. Mm. With that, then you have to add the rice. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So I'm about to order from Giovanni Shrimp Truck in North Shore. This is a must, 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 must to go in, in North Shore. So we'll see how it goes. So I finally ordered a shrimp scampi. That's their garlic shrimp on the Giovanni. It's really good, so it's really delicious for sure. Right? Ooh, so many flies. That's really bad, right? So anyway, I'm gonna give it a try. First, lemon. Gotta have some lots of lemon here. It comes with, uh, I guess, toast. It's a brioche, I believe. Um, yeah, let's see. Mm. Very buttery. It's good. And they come with um, the sauce that they have. And coleslaw. It's 
So let's see. This is their chicken tenders for raising canes. I've heard so much good thing about it, so that's why I'm so curious since they have it here in Waikiki. So I said, why not? Just give it a try. So I'll take a little piece of this. I love, love chicken tenders. And hopefully this is gonna be amazing. Ooh. The sauce is too salty. Mm. Not my favorite actually. But the chicken tenders is good. It's full on piece of chicken. Well, in a sense. That's what they call chicken tenders. But I think that this one is way better than KFC per se. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. But not so much of the sauce. Yeah. Mm, I wanna eat it for sure. And let me try the fries. Mmm. Crinkly and crunchy. Okay. This is good. Mmm. Okay. I like it. Okay. We are trying to go to another brunch place. Eggs and things right now. And we're gonna try the other place for their pancakes. So I'm here at the famous Eggs and Things and I ordered the fresh mochi waffle. So they say it's really good. So I'm gonna give it a try. And also I have this Kalua pork fried rice with sunny side up eggs with a runny eggs. So I'm gonna give it a try. So first, I want to try this mochi pancakes. Let's see. They use uh, pineapple, actually, the diced pineapple. So let me try it. It's chewy, easy. Mm. It's okay, nothing special. You can taste the mochi consistency. It's kind of stretchy. But yeah, it's just a regular waffle. So, let me try my fried rice here. Look at this runny eggs. Mmm, I always love runny eggs on the fried rice. And we'll see. Okay. Let me try this. Yeah, nothing special. It's just not a fried rice. But you know what? I always want to try it because everybody said it's good. But it's overhyped, I think. So, all right. So this is what I got uh, from the Ube store. They're famously Ube cheesecake. It is amazing. Um, you know, the texture and look at this, so pretty. The purpley, the yam and stuff. Everything when you're in Hawaii, obviously. I got that and also their mochi brownies. Oh, it is so good. So I'm just gonna give it a try. I'm having this, the Ube cheesecake. And there you go, I'm just gonna give it a try. And, and see. Mm. Mm. Look at this. This is super creamy, and the texture is very good. It's still like you can taste the cheese on the texture of the liquid. It's super nice and not too thick, so I would totally. It's gonna be my my new favorite thing when I go to Ube. Mm. Mm. So another one that I got from Ube store is their Ube butter mochi. Well, let's give it a try. So this butter mochi is very popular here in Hawaii. It's mostly because of the Filipino um, variety variety of food that they have here and um, you can see the color it's very 
very nice purpley and looks good so mm. ooh very stretchy let me see mmm very bouncy there's a unique texture to it uh, the mochi I can taste it it's really dense and um, the purple yam it's not too sweet but yet um, I would say that um, the combination of the soft and chewy texture makes it more unique to eat. Mm. They have a very delightful consistency of the mochi. I like it. I would definitely go back again and get some of this because I can taste the coconut in this and it's really good. Mm. Yeah, definitely delicious. Mm.